This week's Impact interview, we have three-time national champion head coach Urban Meyer with us. And, you know, the resume speaks for itself, all those different stops. And this is a Penn State football show, Coach, so we're not going to get into all the superlatives about your time in Columbus. But thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Uh, great to be with uh, Coach Bradley and uh, uh, Jay. Great to be with you guys. So, look, we're talking Michigan week. And for Penn State fans – you know, what causes hope and what causes concern? Because you've seen both of these teams, Coach. Yeah, I think this is as talented a team, Penn State team, as I've seen. You know, their defense is excellent. I love Manny Diaz. I've always appreciated him as a coach. And his style of play is very uh, – there's a lot of defense. You know, sometimes like Iowa, I compare Iowa and then you look at uh, Penn State. Penn State's got so much defense. Iowa's got very little defense, but they're both excellent. Uh, I did a story on uh, Big Ben Kickoff about – I think they play with violent hands. They get up back, you know, get off blocks. The, the, you know, sitting there talking to Tom Bradley, the most important thing a defensive player must do other than tackle is to disengage blocks. And I think they're really good at it. So I, I, th I see this as a low scoring game. And the reason why is I think, uh, you know, Penn State or the Wolverines have not played their schedule. I went back through it the last two days. It's for, it's, it's really bad. It's, you know, it's not their fault. But how about this, Jay, that the average offense that the Wolverine defense and Wolverine defense is number one in the country by far in a lot of categories. Uh, they have placed the worst collection of offenses in power five for the year. So I, and I, I was I watched every game this week because we have them and I've not really done that yet. And they are outstanding. You said, what's the hope Penn State has is the fact the Wolverines haven't really played anybody like Penn State yet. Well, let's pause football for a second because I wanted to get into something else. You and your wife, Shelly, launched a fund for cancer research at the James, the Ohio State's Cancer Center. The fund includes seven-figure endowments supporting researchers. How important is for you and Shelly to live a life that's beyond football and have an impact beyond the field? Uh, I'm glad you asked. So, uh, you know, my mom got diagnosed in 1986. Uh, I was a graduate assistant at Ohio State, and it was not the James. It was... Uh, Ohio State Medical Center, and they treated my mom like she was Woody Hayes' mom. And, I mean, put her in a room overlooking the stadium. They treated her so good. She lived quite a few years after that. I said, someday if I can ever say thank you, I'm going to say thank you in a big way. And we did. We built her a room on the 20th floor of the James, the Urban and Giselle, uh, Bud and Giselle. That's my father. He passed away from cancer, too. So that, that's that been a big part of her life. And the new the new thing that Shelly is really involved in, is so am I, because I'm on the Tebow Foundation board, is this anti-human trafficking? It's it's horrific. I had no idea that this even existed. And you know, when you start hearing the stories and actually working with the people, and we built a home in Columbus for these gals, um, so that's a huge part of our life, especially now that we have a little more time. And so we're just to, you know we're thankful we're able to help in that way. Hey, coach. Since the losing season in 2020 during COVID, Jim Harbaugh seemed to retool the program to the old school maize and blue approach. Have you noticed a difference, and why is it working so well? Well, completely different. Yeah, he, uh, you know, people forget though that you know I, we coached uh, against Coach Harbaugh four times, and twice they were in the top five, and they were really, really good. As good a defense in 2016, that was the best defense I've ever faced as a coach. So they've been, you know, the minute someone says the Wolverines are, are down, they don't have good players, they're, they're wrong. You know, Jay knows this. That's like saying Penn State. No, there's always going to be good players there. Now, there might be something going on. The thing I see differently is this quarterback, I think, is legit. He's a first-round draft pick. Uh, I have a lot of admiration for the way he plays the game. I, he can run. He can hurt you with his legs. He's Last year, he's not accurate with the ball downfield. He's very accurate this year. Uh, so it's just... I, I say it's different. I think it's different than that, you know, that, that team they had in the COVID year, the short year was not good, but every other year they've had decent teams. This game is at Beaver stadium and you've always been impressed with the amount of noise, the student section and the crowd in general generates in state college. It's at noon compared to a whiteout or a night game. So how big a difference can the crowd make for this particular game? And will will be the changes that a team needs to make an opponent uh, with the communication on game day? Oh, those nut jobs at state college, man. They're, uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, the student body is incredible. And I say that they know our, I, I ranked them the most difficult stadium in the country to play at. 
And I think the night game is, you know, we would all agree that's that's the whiteout at State College when a school like Ohio State or the Oil Ranger, that's the most difficult environment in college football. I think they'll be, you know, I, you know, I think the Big Ten is used to day games. Uh, I'm biased because Fox, we have it, so we'll be there. But I think the students will be out of their damn minds like they always are. Well, we always appreciate the time and insight from Urban Meyer. We're going to step aside for the TV show to take a break. We have much more with the three-time national championship coach. So make sure you go to NittanyGameWeek.com for the entire interview along with other web-exclusive content.